Ladies and gentlemen, William Barr has begun a renewed email server probe. This is a, a ser email server investigation, not emails. It is about emails, but where are they coming from and where are they going to? This is going to be a repeat of 2016. Today you had a fantastic appearance by the Golden Moo Moo. She was absolutely lovely and wonderful on CBS with Chelsea, and she looked great. And um, she said exactly what she had to say. And then um, Kamala Harris today praised her. Everyone's, everyone's writing now that Clinton is going to run. It's just a matter of time, whether she runs a day before Super Tuesday or uh, tomorrow. There are no filing dates. People say, well, she, you know, there's a date for this certain state. They rigged the primary. There was no 2016 primary. Bernie Sanders was cheated and they blamed Russia. You think they're worried about paperwork? You think they're worried about paperwork doing things by, you know, um, you know, by the book? They write the book. Donna Brazil talked about this in a Politico. So it's taking place. Uh, the CBS uh, appearance was interesting. But, and it just paves the way for, you know, Clinton is going to run in 2020. She's going to be the Democratic nominee. They have nobody else. Nobody else. If they were interested in Warren, they would have not cheated Bernie. They wouldn't have cheated Bernie Sanders. So that makes no sense at all. Furthermore, how many people have ever brought up the DNA test with Warren? How about nobody? Nobody would even touch it with a 10-foot pole. I wonder why. Maybe, maybe this is actually a theatrical performance. You know, with Joe Biden defeating um, Corn Flakes and Grape Nuts and um, Captain Crunch, you know, it's pretty safe to say that all of this was to pave the way for somebody. By the way, when people say, well, how can she run if, she's, if she has a renewed Clinton email probe, server probe? Here, Slate, State Department reportedly ramps up probe into emails sent by former Hillary Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton staffers. State Department intensifies email probe of Hillary Clinton's former staffers. So here, let's just read this. This is going to lead to another serious, 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 um, this is eventually going to lead to indictments. And when people say, oh, yeah, he promised indictment, H.I. cut my It's like, no, serious crimes were committed. They were covered up. How is that an indication of me? I had the pulse of what was going on. Nobody really, very few people on the left at that point, I'm a Trump supporter now. One of the reasons is because of this story. But very few people on the left were even touching him, touching the story. And very few people were even touching those emails. I was touching and, and, and um, investigating and probing into the Clinton email story in the, in, in the Huffington Post salon in the Hill. Each, each article... Each article was seen and vetted and given a stamp of approval and published by editors who run the publications, The Hill, Salon, and Huffington Post. I explained that um, in H.A. Goodman's other channel. But anyway, this is the biggest cybersecurity crime the biggest cybersecurity debacle of all time. You cannot have... Well, anyway, look, here, I'll read, you, I'll read you this. The Trump administration is investigating the email records of dozens of current and former senior State Department officials who sent messages to then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's private email reviving a politically toxic matter that overshadowed the 2016 election. Unfortunately, it did not overshadow the 2016 election. Bernard Sanders said... I am tired of hearing about your emails. Okay? You, yeah, you, my opponent, this is how I'm going to fight the 1%. This is how I'm going to implement Medicare for all. 
and a Green New Deal legislation and everything else that I plan on impl student loan debt. People are being crushed by the debt of loans that they made. This is how I'm going to do it, everyone. My opponent is mired in a scandal where she committed various acts, illegality beyond belief. She owns computer servers outside of the United States government with top secret intelligence, no less. How did she get this top secret intel? Did a, a little bo a little messenger pigeon come flying down and say, oh, here's, here's the classified email, Hillary? Huh? That little, that little bird that, that, that flew down on, on the podium that, that was picked off by Deborah Wasserman and probably eaten by Robbie Mook and, and Brian Fallon live. You think that she she had little uh, little little flying creatures give her the emails? No, they found a way to either either plug in their servers into the United States government or take cell phone pics of of top secret computer systems. Who knows? But I'm gonna bring this up because I want to win. Because I really care about the, the, you know, defeating the 1% for people who are struggling. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm tired of her emails. Do you love me now I'm with her? No, you've been in insulting me for about three years. They don't let you live. They don't let you breathe. What more did I do? I bent over like you could not even believe. It was like Cirque, Cirque du Soleil on steroids. I'm basically a human pretzel now and you still don't like me. And now you're, you're, you're attacking the people, my, my supporters, the loonies, like f former supporter of mine, H.A. Badman, and saying that they're online doing bad things. Oh, my God. Anyway, sorry. Bernie Sanders didn't bring up this issue. He has said, I have enough of your emails. Well, no, you, you, you want to win? Or you, wanna, you, you don't want to win? That's a question that every Bernie, Bernie Sanders supporter should, have, should, should ask themselves. Did he want to win in 2016? Okay, or did he want to just... Whatever. Whatever. I'm a Trump supporter now. It, it, whatever. Record low unemployment. Record low black and Latino unemployment. The unemployment rate for Hispanic and Latino men is below the national average, 3.1% to 3.7% national average. First Step Act, pr uh, criminal justice reform. First president to step foot in North Korea to begin a process of detente. Peace between North and South Korea, be beginning a process. You have these... The economy is doing extremely well. He's addressing a $400 billion trade deficit with China before China is the number one economy in the world by far, along with India, number two, and us, number three. When it's a trillion or $2 trillion trade deficit, they, China will have zero incentive economically to, to fix or to address uh, currency manipulation or uh, dumping of steel or um, unfair trade practices. They don't, it's, 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 they barely have incentive now. The future belongs to China and India. It does not belong economically to the United States of America. And Trump knows this. But anyway, he's doing things that other, um, that, that, that Democrats don't want to do, and he's going up against corrupt intelligence officials, the same ones who fabricated and set him up and set up Michael Flynn and set up everyone around him and, and, and covered up Clinton's numerous crimes. They have to make everything morally relative because Trump's personality is a, is a crime in and of itself to them. Let's put it this way. Many of them know that... 
President Trump, his personality, that Trump didn't commit any crimes. They know that. They don't care. Their, their vantage point is that his personality is so egregious that no matter what good he does, and no, ma- and no matter how many corrupt intelligence uh, officials there are, as long as we can get him out of office, there's a, be- there's a higher good. The problem is that they will lose again. Clinton is going to be the 2020 nominee. They don't have a political party. There's a machine that is bolstered, propped up. There aren't even Democrats' constituents that really get along. The Democratic Party doesn't get along with itself. There are like 10 different factions that don't get along. And without the corrupt intel chiefs like Comey, Strzok, McCabe, Clapper, Brennan, and media, they don't have a political party. They're not running on Medicare for all. But anyway, look, look, look. As many as 130 officials have been contacted in recent weeks by State, State Department investigators. 130 officials. 130 officials. That is, it's game, set, match, people. You, what are the chances one are going to spill the beans? They know what's going on, okay? These 130 officials, you're not talking about, you know, Comey and, and Clapper and Strzok and Brennan. And even Andrew McCabe's going to get indicted soon, but you're not talking. These are 130 lower-level officials that don't have the pull, that don't have the um, millions of dollars for the legal team that McCabe has or the quid pro, whatever quid pro quo, however he's paying for his legal team. As many as 130 officials have been contacted and whatever, obviously. The, the way that, the way that, um, the way these people, the way these people conduct business is that for Andrew McCabe, for example, he lied three times under oath, because specifically because his wife was given seven hundred thousand dollars from Terry McAuliffe. That's why he leaked the information for self-serving purposes to the Wall Street Journal, which James Comey is willing to testify against, regarding you know telling him, um, "Oh, I let you, I let you leak the information." CrowdStrike is outsourced by Democrats. They literally write them a check. The dossier is purchased by Hillary Clinton. Cash flowed to the Clinton Foundation a mid-Russian uranium deal. Clinton outsources and pays Platte River and Dato Inc., three, two cloud storage companies. There's, there are money transfers all the time. Where was the money transfer from Russia to, to, to Trump? It never happened. Happened to the Clinton Foundation. It didn't happen to Trump. Where are the money transfers to Republicans? Where's the, where's the FBI agent that hooked up Trump that just happened to get his spouse get $700,000 from Republicans? Didn't doesn't happen. And if it did, you better believe it would be top you know news of the day, every day. But as many as 130 officials have been contacted in recent weeks by department investigators, a list that includes senior officials who reportedly who reported directly to Clinton, as well as others in low-level jobs whose emails were at some point relayed in her inbox. Those targeted were notified that those emails they sent years ago have been retroactively classified. They are up the creek without a paddle and now constitute potential security violations. They sent and they received 150 people, 130 people sent and received emails that should never have been sent and received by Clinton, to Clinton, from Clinton, and they're up the creek. They all committed security violations, and guess what? They don't have James Comey. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, uh, trying to subvert a republic, and an American dem- democracy that that relied on people to just, you know, do the bare minimum in terms of of following the law. They couldn't even do that. 
Now everyone who emailed Clinton broke the law. <laughs> it's, everyone who emailed Clinton now broke the law. Do you realize, let that sink in. 130 people broke the law now. These, those emails are retroactively classified. That's what they did to Jeffrey Sterling and others. Oh, they retroactively classify emails all the time to get, put, put people in prison. Obama's administration did that. So, and you can, you best believe, you can best believe that of those, of those 130 people, at least 10, 15, 20 had emails born classified. How did they send emails that were classified or important or sensitive in nature to Clinton if she had a .com email address? In the government, you're supposed to only give important information to .gov. She had top secret intel on her servers. How did, they, how did it get there? These 130 people very likely know, and they've committed Espionage Act violations. Isn't that fun? Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment. Thank you very much. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now.